What up, gang? Caroline Jackpot coming at you on Friday evening. Uh, having not done any kind of picks against the spread video this week, I haven't had time to do it. Hopefully tonight, later on, I'll get a chance to get one together. It's not going to be a whole lot of games, but it should be some, and maybe it'll be helpful. I know one that's not going to be helpful is tonight. I'm going to give you a bit of advice. This is just me the rest of the season, and this is just kind of like what I've read into uh, listening to some of the Las Vegas guys, and then also just kind of putting my twist on it. I would not bet against Cincinnati to cover any spreads uh, the rest of the season. I, I just wouldn't bet against them to cover any spreads. Tonight, I'm a little pissed off. I'm a little fucking perturbed uh, because I did take Temple to cover against Cincinnati. It was 29-point spread. Uh, just figuring, you know, Cincinnati might come out a little bit flat. I mean, they did have that nice win over Notre Dame. And then let's just face it. I mean, your next game is against fucking Temple. Uh, you think you're really going to come out and give, you know, your 110% effort? I mean, you could beat those guys giving your fucking 60% effort if you're Cincinnati. But here's the thing. Turn some lights on. Shed some light on the subject. Let there be light. Here's the fucking thing. They're undefeated, right? And they passed their two biggest litmus tests this year uh, in Indiana on the road and Notre Dame on the road. So they're going towards the playoffs. And I think that if they run through that AAC schedule, like ship through a tin horn, win the AAC championship, I think that they should definitely be considered for a playoff spot. If you figure you're going to have, it's either going to be Alabama number one, Georgia number two. And those two are going to face off in the SEC championship game. Sorry, Gators. Uh, you're not beating them, okay? That's just not having it. All of y'all that are saying that, you're you're freaking foolish and dumb, okay? There, there is a better chance of the moon crashing into the earth tonight than there is of Florida beating Georgia this year. I mean, it, it's just not happening. Okay, so just stop talking about it. Uh, hopefully, you can keep it, you know, within three touchdowns. Uh, those are going to be number one and number two teams. And then you're going to have probably the Big Ten champion who's either going to be uh, Iowa, if they can hang on and win the Big Ten West, uh, or whoever uh, wins the East and wins the championship game of the conference. And then you're going to have a situation where, well, you know, uh, you, you, if, if Alabama and uh, fuck, okay, well then you gotta throw somebody else there. Anyway, we gotta have a spot for them, but you're gonna have a situation where Alabama and Georgia is gonna go in that thing undefeated, and if they play a close game in the SEC championship game, you know as well as I do, one of them's getting it at number one, and one of them's getting it at number four. Or, I mean, if impressive enough, one of them might get in at number three. I don't know. But that leaves a place for Cincinnati. And they have got to have style points this year. They're going to have to have style points to make sure that they don't get bamboozled out of that third playoff spot. Got to make sure they don't get bamboozled out of it. So that's why I think that, I mean, the rest of their schedule is shit. Uh, with the exception, of, I mean, you could make the argument that SMU is a decent team, but do you really think they're going to pose a real threat to Cincinnati? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, so I think they're going to absolutely blow teams out of the water. Right now, they're up on Temple 24-3. Uh, Temple has held Cincinnati's offense in check somewhat, but uh, Temple just absolutely cannot do dick with the football, running it or passing it. I mean, they just look, they look horrible. They look like a Gamecocks offense, lost and wandering through the desert. The desert being the field at Nippert Stadium. So I would not bet against Cincinnati the rest of the year. Take them to cover every single time. That's the best advice I can give you. When playing the Bearcats, I'll see you guys later. Appreciate you. Peace. I'm out. Go Gamecocks and I, woo! Tennessee. Ah. I said, ha ah. ha.